Dow Jones failing to stay below 33100 it dropped till towards 3370 levels but bounced back strongly likewise US 102 has gone to 12030 and bounced back now what to expect with the US session remember today the FOMC minutes might bring a little more volatility so which position you should take in order to profit today we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis this is the second and up update second analysis for the day the first update i released with the asia session too was that also and remember several times i have told you 32800 12000 levels and 11800 levels i will not consider us 30 and us 100 bearish till then let's see if it still if it is still holds good because it has already come quite quite close to that so let's start first to look into tech 100 followed with dow jones to watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the levels now look at the early charts for US 100 you can see a bottom is formed triple three candles getting the support here it tried to trade outside the Bollinger Bands failed to do so now it is trying to break on the upside let's see if it sustains first point second point is see even if it tries to trade bullish I will wait for it to break past 12 to 50 levels 12 to 60 levels and then 12 300 350 400 till 12 400 levels we have to be extremely cautious and vigilant do not consider this as reversal till the time it trades below 12 400 levels directional movement is bearish it is trying to converge crossover for a bullish move stock eye stick is looking upwards the magd now see we did saw this yesterday also magd is now looking upwards see increasing candle size possibly we may see trading bullish for a little while because the slope is certainly changing here rsi after trading oversold it's trying to recover a bit and if you look at 2 hour chart, now if you look at 2 hour chart, see the resistance was there at 12200 or 12100, 120 zone and now it is trying to break out beyond this. See multiple candles it has got the resistance there and this candle is trying to break out. Possibly we may see soon, we may it, uh, see it soon hitting 12160, 12200, 12240, 12300 levels possibility possibility exists that it may try to cover till then directional movement is bearish trying to converge stock eye stick is looking up the MACD is willing to cross over for a buy entry here you now see this is first bottom second bottom third bottom possibly it is trying to break on the upside the RSI was also trading extremely oversold and it is looking forward to a little recovery here and if you look at the 3R chart now see on the 3R chart the reversal sign is seen and forming the bottom at 12030 it is trying to rise higher highs is seen so one thing is 12160 you have to be watchful beyond that only little more bullishness for 12200 to 40 300 can be seen and beyond that wait for 12400 levels to be breached directional movement bearish trying to converge the stock eye stick was oversold looking forward to a recovery here the MACD is bearish trying to converge crossover for a buy entry and RSI was oversold now looking forward to a recovery now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour chart wait for the candle closer here see this can be a possible swing just try to close this candle here so possibly once it exists once it trades beyond 12160 yes it may give you less profit but sure profit that it may try to in fact break past 12200 and then 12 to 40 zone beyond that we may see it in fact 12300 and plus plus levels also now see this zone is important and that is why i say 12400 is something which i will look forward for it to break pass by in order to confirm the bullishness directional movement is bearish here stock eye stick was oversold looking forward to a recovery the macd is bearish it is willing to converge crossover the rsi is also trading oversold looking forward to a recovery and that's why we can see a greener candle here now look at the daily charts now see on the daily charts precisely from the bottom of the Bollinger Bands you can see it reversing now if you look at even if it has to reverse I will wait again as I said 12400 levels to be breached in order for it to confirm the bullishness till that time it should not be considered a reversal till that time it stays below 12400 do not consider this as reversal now see directional movement is trying to cross over for a sell on the daily charts it is still in the green stock eye stick has come to oversold zone the MACD is divergent and bearish and that is why you have to be watchful on the daily charts it is still indicating little more bearishness so maybe it may try to recover a bit with the uh, 
before the FOM simulates and with the FOM simulate it can erase all the gains that is also very much possible the RSI is looking down and it is trying to trying to recover a bit let's see if it does so a safe entry and uh, is about 12160 for US 100 but then I am once again repeating till 12400 do not consider this as bullish for now and possibility exists that it may try to recover a bit uh, before the FOMC minutes it can try to achieve 12 to 40 300 also and then from those levels it can again initiate a drop as I have told several times 12,000 12,200 zone very strong support levels in fact till 11,800 I will not consider Nasdaq 100 as bearish so possibility exists that markets may completely reverse from here and hence you have to be watchful be careful take your trades with the trailing stop loss on the downside be watchful of 12,000 and 11,950 levels beyond 11,950 it is going to give you a crash take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss now let's have a look at Dow Jones and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts on 1st week of March reach out to me for more details my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description now see in the morning analysis I did tell you that about 33,200 there is a possibility of a little rise we can see 33,250 and then you have to wait for it to break past 33,300 levels beyond that only little more bullishness can be seen now also if you noticed see first of all look at the early charts lower highs are seen higher lows are seen there was a breakout and now this reversal so this is the real breakout that is what it appears however if you see it trading below 33100 you can sell again below 33100 you can again expect it to draw for 33000 and then 32900 32800 levels till that time you have to be very very cautious and alert directional movement bearish trying to converge stochastic rising the MACD is in green it is looking upwards and this crossover has happened at a bottom so possibly little more bullishness can be expected RSI was trading oversold it has come out of the oversold zone if you look at 2 hour chart likewise on the 2 hour charts lower lows lower highs wait for it to break past on the upside above 33,250 where you can expect 33,350, 400 and yes only 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 bullishness is once it trades above 33,800 levels see remember these are markets anything is possible but wait for it to break past 33,800 in order to take a positional trade directional movement is bearish trying to converge stochastic is looking upwards the MACD is willing to converge crossover for a buy entry RSI was trading oversold it is looking forward to a recovery here and if you look at 3 hour chart now look at 3 hour charts a uh, reversal indication then this breakout candle just wait for it to break past 33,250 then you can expect 33,350 400 levels in fact we can see 33,500 600 also with the data with the minutes directional movement is bearish trying to converge stochastic was oversold looking forward to a recovery the MACD is bearish it is also looking forward to converge crossover RSI is trading oversold trying to come out of the oversold zone so yes there is a probability that it can try to reverse it can try to achieve a little highs but then the FOMC minutes once it gets released may bring little volatility it can completely reverse the trend in which it was trading before the FOMC minute if it trades bullish till then it can probably show you a little drop and then recover if it trades bearish then probably it can try to rise from there so then you have to be watchful there now what a rise possibility of a rise before the FOMC minute exists because see that will that will increase the chances in, that will also cool down the indicators bring the indicators to a comfortable level so that it can trade with the drop now see it is trying to trade in this bearish channel on the 4 hour charts and hence 33700 levels you have to be watchful only above which it may try to trade bullish directional movement is extremely bearish trying to converge stock stick is extremely oversold looking to recover the MACD is bearish trying to converge crossover RSI is also oversold and hence it calls for the possibility of a little recovery may adjust now on the daily charts I have told you uh, in my weekly analysis in my daily analysis and multiple times I have told you that it is still trading in this bullish channel if you draw multiple lines you can find this higher lows are seen and this time it is try to again give you higher lows here see can you see these two candles but possibly this time it can give you lower highs here so, but recovery is possibly uh, expected a little 
Also, if you see, this is trading outside Bollinger Bands and 33,400 levels, something you should watch out for. Also, remember that it is trading below the 20, 50, 100 period moving average, staggered from 33,500 to 33,34,000 levels. And hence, this zone is going to be increasingly important, increasingly important for US 100 to sustain the bullish momentum. If it breaks past 34,000, certainly it, it may go bullish. Direction movement bearish, stochastic oversold, the MACD divergent and bear looking down here and if you look at the rsi this is also near to bottom considering this you can buy at 33250 and sell at 33100 below 33100 this time we may see 33000 levels and 32950 remember 32950 is a very good support below 32950 you can expect 32900 and 32800 till 32800 we can expect a bounce back i have told you several times earlier i am repeating it again Till 32,800, we can see a bounce back, a recovery, a reversal. Hence, you have to trade with caution on the downside. On the upside, now till 33,800 levels, you have to be watchful. Yes, it can try to fly past 32,500, 32,600 levels today. But then it may raise the gains with the FOMC minutes. And then we'll see which direction it tries to take. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signals group, reach out to me for more details. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.